Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman and Madam Secretary. I'd I like to, to, to follow up on the, uh, the, severance, the severance tax discussion. And, you know, I, I hear about this, uh, these projections based on this uh, Henry Hub price of, uh, of $3.20. And I, I would just suggest to you that I think you need to go back and look at, at all your projections. As, as a representative from up in Lycoming County where this gas development is taking place, where the royalty checks are being issued, uh, the, the, the amount that the companies are selling their gas for have nothing to do with the Henry Hub price. Uh, uh, they, don't, they don't go up and down with the Henry Hub price. They go on, on what, the, what the operators can sell their gas for in Northeast Pennsylvania. And if you'll check the indices today, it's, it, it ranges maybe $1.40, uh, maybe $1.80 some days, but nowhere near uh, what the 320 you're talking about and, and nowhere near the 420 that you're projecting down the line. We have a great supply of gas in Pennsylvania. Uh, we have developers who have wells that they're not even flowing now. We have pipelines that are being built that are going to flow even more gas. Uh, so I, I, I follow up with what Representative Christiana talked about. I, I think the billion dollars that you're projecting is, is not there. And the other thing that I would, and I'll ask a question, is do you take into account anywhere in this the, the production post-production costs uh, that are involved in this. Is this, is that based, is this, you know, so you get $3, let's say you get $3.20 at the Henry Hub, uh, is that reflective of what the Independent Financial Office used is about 82 cents per cubic foot from uh, MCF uh, deduction of what they're actually realizing as, as what they're selling the gas for? Um, I have not personally spoken to uh, the IFO about the uh, severance tax estimates, but we can follow up with them and see what they're using. Um, the proposal, as I indicated earlier, the proposal is uh, starting with a uh, Henry Hub price, but it's uh, ad adjusting that number down to reflect actual prices available in Pennsylvania. So uh, the hope is that we have uh, made an adjustment for that um, that effect that you're speaking of and uh, prices that are actually available in Pennsylvania. Uh, but I would also say again, uh, this is looking out into the future, into 2016. Um, and, uh, you know, as production grows and prices begin to recover, you know, we'll, we'll see where we are. Well, I would just make a suggestion before you do your projections on what your income is going to be. You, you might, I mean, you can, get your, you can get the figures from DEP on how much gas is flowing. You might want to actually get in touch with the operators that are selling the gas and get the actual figures on what they're selling that gas for and what they project that they're going to be able to sell that gas for uh, in the years that you're projecting, rather than using um, the Henry Hub price has, just has nothing to do with the price of what gas is sold for. In, in Pennsylvania, in the Marcellus and Utica developments. And the other thing that I, that I would like to ask is, did I hear correctly that the estimate is that the industry paid a total of uh, $19 million in taxes? The oil and gas drilling industry paid a total of $19.1 million in um, corporate income tax and sales taxes and capital stock franchise tax. So that doesn't include midstream companies, supply companies. This is, you're just, you've just. We're talking uh, about. Uh, you just drilled, drilling. no pun intended, drilled down to, uh, to gas oil development companies, not the total impact of what the industry is doing in Pennsylvania. Right. Uh, this, is, this is not a measure of the entire industry. It's a measure of the drillers. That's what you. That's what I thought was asked. Was what what the drillers were paying? I'm doubting that's what Representative Cristiano was trying to get at. I think he okay. probably was trying to get at. And I'll ask you the question: Can you do you have some order of magnitude of what the whole industry is paying in corporate net income taxes, uh, income taxes, and sales taxes in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania? processors and pipeline companies and all their suppliers and 
Is that what you're yes, ma'am trying to and, and if you don't have that today, I think that's something that would be very valuable to us and to you as we, as we go through this through this discussion. Okay, we'll work on that. Thank you. Thank you very much.